God is calling us as a church to learn more and more about how to live by faith. And as we are learning, God has said that he's going to do miracles in our lives, which is just amazing. Um, We are about halfway through the year right now, and already we've got so many testimonies, so many stories of what God has been doing in people's lives, the miracles that God has been doing. So um, we're going to go on a bit of a journey to capture some of these stories. And right now we're off to Mumbles. So let's go. So we're here, we're here today um, with the Spillers. We've got Kane Deg and we've got Kelt, and um, they're going to be sharing with us a testimony about what God's been doing in their life. Should we say? Um, so yeah, last December, Kelt was um, quite poorly with uh, viral tonsillitis. That's what we put it down um, to with the GP, yeah. um, and that was ongoing for about three weeks. Thanks. Um, and it was just progressively getting worse and um, we were taken into Morrison um, mm. where they were treating him for um, a significant infection in his throat. Um, so he was on IV antibiotics but then it was more worrying the rash that was appearing on his on his legs. Sure. Um, and then he started swelling up from his oh, gosh. Um, midriff down. Um, and they diagnosed uh, an autoimmune condition called HSP. Basically what it is, it's where the blood vessels in his body um, starts bursting, specifically in his um, skin and some mm. organs. Um, so he, he was swollen from you know, his waist down and he couldn't, he couldn't walk for yeah. days. He was in agony. It was, yeah. it was painful, painful to watch. Was it really painful, Kel? Wasn't it? Yeah. Remember? Um, HSP can, can in some cases cause kidney damage. And unfortunately with Kelt's case, it, it, he was pumping out protein and, and blood um, in his urine. So they oh, were right. concerned so that it really, had yeah. affected his kidneys. And we, yeah. we were told to go back and forth to the GP, to the hospital um, yeah. for, for a year. And we, in the first three weeks, we were back in the hospital twice because his kidneys were um, not, not too good, were they? Oh, no. But you know, like the last couple of months in church, we've been talking about fruits of the spirit and yeah. you specifically spoke about um the peace the yeah. supernatural <laughs> peace that you can have yeah. and literally that that is what we felt it was really? supernatural peace like it's you cannot have that kind of peace worldly peace about sure. your child being no. poorly can you no. but we we knew that he was going to be fine we knew mm. that he was not going to have long-term effects mm. of um this hsp you know um even though in the natural, it it didn't look sure. too great on his kidneys, yeah. Um, but yeah, there was something inside of us that was just like he he's going to be fine yeah. because you know your love for your own child, don't you? Mm. But like, you know, God's love for us as our Father, yeah. you know, He knew Celt before He yeah. created the universe. Absolutely. How like beautiful is that? Yeah, amazing. Um, and yeah, He <laughs> you know He sent his only son to die for our salvation and our our health and yeah. fullness of life, didn't he? And, yeah. you know, knowing how much we love Celts um, and knowing what God has done for him already, yeah. um, we, we just knew that we were going to see fulfillment of his word um, through Celts. So, um, so, yeah, that was last December, all of that happened. Yes. Um, yeah. So we should be seeing the doctor until um, December this year um, but we saw the consultant um, three three weeks ago um, and yeah he he looked at Kelt he assessed him and he was so happy with the progress that Kelt has done oh he was like <laughs> we don't cool. need to see you anymore yeah. um, so that was what five months post Wow, um, well, what, what was expected of his recovery? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Amazing. Yeah, so That's yeah, they were like, we are discharging you from our care. Um, <laughs> it was because, amazing. So it was amazing, and you know the the church, our our church family, yeah. were just standing with us yeah. um, throughout it all, you know, and praying for him and and just supporting us in it, mm. and yeah, standing with, with us in prayer. And, 
and I think that made such a difference. It does, you know, doesn't it? Kel, I hear that you, when you were poorly, you, you, you really couldn't walk, could you? No. no, you couldn't. Could you, could you jump? Can you jump now? Can could you jump now? Could Shall you jump we... before? You can jump before, oh, could you? <laughs> You can touch this. Mummy can touch that. Go on, try and touch that. Go on, try jumping. Oh, good job. That was really cool. 